So we've been wanting to do a chicken tractor for a long time and just hadn't really got around to it. Hadn't really wanted to figure out what to do. Um, but we were watching a video from White Life. If you haven't seen their channel, go check them out. They're really cool. They've got a lot of cool stuff going on as they're building out too. Um, and so Jake over there was putting together a chicken tractor from like some sign that he found on for free like on Craigslist or something like that. And in the beginning of the video, he had a bunch of whole pictures of a bunch of uh, chicken tractors, you know, from recycled materials. And one of them was a trampoline. And I thought, shoot, yeah, I'd seen that before. I'm like, that's a good idea. And it jogged my brain, my memory there, just down the road from us at the old house, someone had a trampoline sitting out for free. So, we actually went and got that trampoline yesterday, right after watching that video. And we have it in the back of the truck right now. We're going to put it together here and run them. Um, basically just down the field and, and through all this and eventually our pigs will be over here too for the pasture so this will be just a sweet setup for that so we got this free trampoline we're gonna set that up now and, uh, and so we'll put them in this and just circle them here through the, the pasture area um, and grow them out and then we'll be eating pretty good so uh, yeah let's get on it So I just wanted to kind of remove all the springs, separate the pieces, our round pieces, our legs, and all that jazz. And then we're going to start kind of laying it out just to get the idea of what we want. And then we're going to just start putting it together here, um, just like any old trampoline. And this one was an old trampoline, and it was all rusted, and some of the parts were a little bent. Um, so it didn't really want to hold together too well. So we ended up running some some uh, twine across it a couple spots uh, later just to kind of help hold it the tension in. Um, and then we began putting on the chicken wire. And we just put chicken wire all the way around and kind of extended it past the top uh, a little bit just uh, for extra protection there. And just uh, zip tying it to the verticals and around the top. And that worked out pretty well. And then with the uh, mat, what we ended up doing was, uh, we were thinking about cutting it in half, but we ended up folding it over in half, which was a better idea. We were able to get more tension that way, because uh, we had kind of more rings to work with with the springs. Uh, so yeah, just folded it over, and then threw it up on there. And then we had to get our uh, springs back out. And uh, we, we kind of laid the springs out first, and then threw the mat up there, and it, it was a little bit of a, kind of guessing game with the springs because you're not having the full tension all the way across because it's only over half just because we wanted to have some sun for the chicks that they could just kind of be out in but then also have a little bit of shelter and shade so you don't have that full tension across so it's kind of you see a lot of like diagonal we have some that are crossing and honestly it was just kind of a game of figuring out how to get the most tension out of the whole thing Then we had some old steel roofing that we put around the side for a uh, wind block um, and we screwed it in just with these self tapping screws like one inch um, and these actually worked out really well and we just screwed them on in and uh, there you have it. So now is finally the time to bring our chicks out to the new house and get them put in the new chicken tractor. So we brought them out here, you can see them behind me, and we're gonna go transfer them now. Brought them out yesterday, but um, the low last night was supposed to be like 10 degrees lower than any other low coming up. So we decided to hold off one more night, and now we're moving them out today. Still pretty small. 
you need my help? You got him? Yeah. So that's our chicken tractor. We'll see how it works out. We're gonna try to put either some more metal like just on the bottom all the way around or wood or something just to help keep that chicken wire pressed to the ground. But uh, yeah, they're in there. We got food, water. They're a little on the young side, but we're kind of getting to a warm spot here, so I think they'll be all right. Even though I'm wearing a winter hat, it's really not that, that cold, but anyways. There it is, old trampoline. It's now our chicken tractor. These are our egg layers. They will later be moved to the hen house up there once we get that uh, refurbished a bit and then we'll put broiler, broilers in here and uh, yeah rotate them through the field here and we'll be good to go but yeah so that's what we did thanks for watching let us know what you think let us know your ideas of, of different uh, of different chicken tractors made out of kind of recycled materials we got this idea off of uh, the internet and then Wyatt Life posted a video and kind of reminded us of this and so we did that because they did one off of like a sign or something they found and that was pretty cool and so yeah tons of ways to make recycled chicken tractors and coops so yeah share that wealth of knowledge post your own video let us see what you guys got and uh... yeah we'll see you next time thanks for watching <laughs>